foodies and welcome back to another episode here with me and the Scribian Kitchen. In today's episode I'll be showing you how I make a simple pilau. Pilau is a traditional dish of Trinidad and Tobago and it's normally made with various meats. We can use beef, chicken, pork and in some instances we even use fish. Now let's talk a bit about texture. Pilau normally has different textures which comes down to preference. If you choose to have your pilau on the grainier side, of course you're going to add less water. And if you choose to have it on the moister, softer side, of course you're going to add more liquids. So if you want to see how I did this pilau, keep viewing. To begin I'm using 3 pounds of chicken, salt, some spices, garlic, ginger, curry powder, some fresh green seasoning. I'd leave a link above for this seasoning. We are using some mustard and pepper sauce. You want to mix this together and set it aside to marinate. Next, I'm going to start with two and a half cups of rice, which I'll wash and set aside with just a bit of water in it. Now I'm preparing my vegetables. I'm using some carrots, sweet peppers, pumpkin and onions. You could use as much or more. We are using one and a half cups of green peas, which I'll wash and set aside. To begin our pilau, we're gonna start with a hot pot oil here. I'm browning some sugar. Now the purpose of browning the sugar is to get the pilau the, the brown color. If you like, you could totally omit this step and use browning. So now that our chicken is in the pot, you want to put it in and turn it a bit and cover it. No water should be added at this point. After covering our chicken for a few minutes, it should spring its own water. Now we're going to add our peas or green peas to our chicken. Turn and you want to cover again and allow this to cook for a few minutes. So a few minutes later, now I'm adding my rice. Now, so you're gonna add the rice, turning it occasionally for about five minutes until moist evaporates and desired brownness is achieved. Now, this step is very important if you wanna have a nice greeny pilau. Now we're gonna add some water. I'm adding two cups of water along with my vegetables. I'm gonna cover this and allow this to steam for just a bit more. Now I'm adding one and a half cups of coconut milk along with some salt or proper seasoning and some sugar and I'm adding my hot pepper to taste this salt or anything else that you may need to add. Now I'm adding some chopped pimentos and just a bit more water, more water cup. And you want to cover it and allow this to steam on a low heat. Pilau is completed, so I'm going to serve this up with some potato salad, plantains, and beetroot. If you like this recipe, 
like and subscribe to my channel to see more upcoming videos and once again thank you for joining me here on another episode of Lynn's Caribbean Kitchen until then see you next week